and welcome to probably one of the toughest games um this season where <laughs> we have us okay so they bought nearly everything i expect they bought they know they bought everything i expected i did uh nearly 10 mocks 10 mocks of a bunch of different things um you know some had kiram some had zapdos some had sandy shark some had Cin incineral they bought all everything that has been an issue for me um from incineral to Zapto, Gatos, uh, to Sandy Sharks. Um, they didn't bring Kiram, which is the interesting one. Um, honestly, my best lead is funnily enough, my sizzle, because nothing else really works well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this it's this is this is probably one of the tougher battles. They do have mostly physical attackers, so uh Annihilate, if I can get set up Annihilate properly, I can win. But out of my 10 mocks that I did across two days, I won, I think, two of them. Um, I won two of the mocks. So, like, my confidence levels are not... With, with the second day, I didn't win a single mock. I didn't win a single mock on the second day. So my confidence levels are not there. Who do you lead? Kinky Bird. Okay. All right. So this is either Ben and Zapdos or non-Ben and Zapdos. Uh, Gapdos, I should say. Zapdos. So my question to you is, does Dual Wing be killed? That is my question. Um, it nearly kills. I'm just going to click it. I'm going to click it. I'm not even going to think about it. If you're Scarf, um, you'll outspeed me. If you're not Scarfed, um, I will kill you. Uh, I won't kill you, but I'll get you very close. I'll get you very close. All right. And we unfortunately do not kill. We get very close though. We get very close. What do you do? So knock off. Honestly, you've just kind of helped me. Um, how much did that knock off do? That that was okay. You're banded, so you are in fact banded. Um, thank you for the knock off because now I can freely bullet punch. Um, you're locked into knock off actually. I no longer have an item. How much do you do to me, good sir? How much do you do to a non-item? You do 40%. I'm at 110. 110. Um, I'm guessing you are jolly. I don't think you're adamant. So there is it is it is the tiniest range for this to kill. It is the tiniest range, but I think you have to save this. I think you save this. I don't think you give this up. Because if you give this up, you're letting a lot of other things through. So I'm going to assume that you... Yep, you don't give it up. So you turn was the right play. I, I thought I thought so. Uh, fine looking. What are you? You are the bird. Um, let me guess. You are probably... Rocky Helmet? Yep, Rocky Helmet. So the classic. The classic. The classic set. Um, I could probably go into... <sighs> I mean, all things considered, I kind of want to go into this. I want to flame charge because I want to get rid of the boots on the um, instant of all. That is my thought process on it. I want to keep sizzle around. But I want to flame charge because then I can take away either they stay in or and I take their rocky helmet or they switch into sin all. Worst case scenario is they switch into they sack their Gapdos and I take their ban. <laughs> I think that would be the worst case scenario. But everything else I'm fine with. Um, they could switch into Ogre Pond, but I don't think I think they do fear the fire move slightly. They could switch into Shock, so I'll take whatever Shocks, uh, whatever item Shock has. It could be Shockerberry, which actually would work out better, meaning I can actually just stay in. But I think their their best uh, switching is always Incineroar. Yep, fine looking switches out into Incineroar would be my um, guess. Alabama. Yep, Incineroar. You are Intimidate. That is really interesting. We do absolutely nothing, but I take your item. What item have you given me? Magician, you gave me the boots. So you are now bootless. Um, All things considered, I look at this team. I look at... The only real switch I have is technically... I don't really want to take a knockoff because how much does a knockoff from Incineroar do? Crook to Incineroar. Um, 
A flare blitz will hurt. A knockoff into flare blitz will kill. Um, which sucks. If I go into Valplume, I could get the effect spore off. Do I need Valplume for anything? Uh, Valplume could just be really good just for as a as, as an ogre pond switch. And I don't want to actually. I'm gonna go snoot. I'm gonna go snoot. So we took your boots. Um, you could just U-turn here, but I think you're more likely to knock. Um, in which I'm just going to smack down afterwards. Yep, you knock. That makes sense. Get rid of my chopper berry. Um, now I could just get rocks here. If I get rocks, you, I am kind of forcing the uh, bird to come in. So I'm actually going to get my rocks up. I'm going to get my rocks up and then we'll go from there. Alabama switches. What do you go into? Looking fine. Yep, bird comes in, which is great. Exactly, that's exactly what I wanted. This is playing out exactly how I wanted it to. Now you have to, you have to fear me switching into annihilate on your default. So I'm gonna smack down. Smack down. Boop. Yep. I thought you'd fear that. I thought you'd fear that. Now earthquake is pretty much free. Earthquake is pretty much free. I could knock off instead, but what comes in? Nothing comes in besides the um, Ogre Pond. So I could knock off, get rid of your helmet. But I know you fear an Earthquake and you have to switch on it. Because what else can you go into? I know you fear the Earthquake. I'm an Earthquake. So you don't fear the earthquake. That's really interesting. That's actually really interesting. Because even if you now defog, I still put you in range. So yeah, even if you defog, I still put you in range. So you are definitely defensive there's no ifs buts or what's about that we're doing a little smackdown you defog um i could earthquake here but i could finally get rid of the um rocky helmet I'm actually just gonna knock. You stay in? That is a shock. That is actually a shock. But I got rid of the Rocky Helmet. Cause I want so your Roost, Defog. Okay, so you Roost again. So Roost, Defog, Brave Bird. So you must not be bulk up then. I'm gonna get myself Rocks up again. Cause if you kill me, brilliant, I go into an Annihilate and I bulk up. That's, that's at least how I see it. Yeah, that's definitely how I see it. You brave bird. Yep, Snoot, you did, you did wonder, Snoot. You did what you had to do. You did what you had to do. I mean, from here, they go Incineroar. I, or I go into this and I begin to rest up. I begin to bulk up, I should say. Because what do you go into? You could go Sandy Shocks. You could definitely go Sandy Shocks. I'm still going to go into this anyway. Knowing full well that you can't touch me. Well, I don't have to now. I don't fear you as much. So I'm just going to bulk up. This Brave Bird will hurt. Um, but I'm going to bulk up. Care Fairy, take me away. So you stay in. You wouldn't dare defog. Maybe your Iron Head. Maybe that's what 
you are. You could also just be full on attack. But bulk up, me bulking up should help me in a long run. Yep, bulk up. Rawr. Defenses, raise, U turn. You've now just uh, helped me a little bit with. So they can't go uh, Zapdos. Could they go Sandy Shocks? I think they could. I'm now Terra Fairy. Uh, Sandy Shocks. I'm now at plus one uh, flash cannon because I know you can carry that. That's about fifty percent, but I can, I can out heal what you do to me. Uh, Rage's Fist is also at hundred now. Hmm, I could just let this thing attack me, get its chip off. I'm gonna drain punch. Okay, so you don't so you don't have flash cannon. Brilliant. No defense drop. No special defense drop. Critical hit. I'm so sorry um, about that. Um What do I wanna do? What do I wanna do? So I'm now at 150 rage fist. Um, another Earth Power will take me just above half. Earth Power. There's 41 to 36. I could rest here, or I could just go for damage. Because if you do... Because I'm at... How much am I at? 380? Uh, that takes me to about 50%. Which could be in range of some things. I'm just going to attack. I'm going to attack what's in front of me. We just above. Just above 50. Boop. All right. Come on, Nile. Come on, Nile. So you can't go Incineroar because of Intimidate. You can't go... You can't go Zapdos because it's dead. You have to go either Cress or into your Ogre Pond. I think you. I am now in range of an ogre upon I have a cudgel, unfortunately. Yep, I am. Damn, damn. I am in range of an ogre upon I have a cudgel. Um, is this thing still useful for later? Definitely. Uh, definitely. Definitely is. Um, because I'm at. Oh, I'm at plus one. I'm at plus one defense. I've got to remember that. So it does two, three, one. Actually, if you're massive. Unless crit, I live. Unless crit, I live. So I'm going to Rage Fist. So what do you still have? Incineral could outspeed me. Yeah, if, uh, unless you're animate nature. I think that's the only way you can kill. Is if you are animate nature. Because I'm just out of range. So I guess, show me, are you animate? Are you animate? Adamant or crit are the two. You are neither. You are actually dead. You are dead. Oh my goodness. Alright, so... Incineral comes in, and Incineral has to be max speed. Incineral has to be max speed. Yep, Incineral has to be max speed to uh, and kill me. The fire goes up. I'm just going to rest. I'm just going to rest. Because if you outspeed me, you outspeed me. Yep, you don't outspeed me. Let's go! Oh, it... I could have probably drain punched, but 
I really did think I was pretty much dead. So I'm at like plus three now. Play Blitz. Oh my goodness. All right, Drain Punch. Boop. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness, all the mocks actually worked out so well. All the mocks worked so well. Oh, I'm so glad I went Terra Fairy. Originally it was Terra Steel. And then I went to Terra Bog. And then finally, Terra Fairy is what I landed to go. I was like, I'm doing a bunch of mocks. I was like, Terra Fairy has to be way. It is too bad. It's too late. <laughs> I still can't make playoffs. But I'm not going to season winless. This is the definition of never back down, never what? <laughs> never back down, never what? Oh my goodness. You absolute beauty. You absolute beauty. Annihilate, I finally used you properly. I finally used you properly. Bulk up. Fine looking comes in and die. Oh no, not, not dice rocks. Um, I think their only answer is, in fact, I'm plus three now. I'm pretty sure rage, a 200 base power rage fist will kill. Yep. So rocks were hand. I'm so glad I kept Crook because a lot of people were like, are you sure about Crook? And I'm like, look, Crook went through a lot of stages. He was life orb at one stage. He was, um, and then he was uh, citrus berry. Oh my goodness. That turn one, the scarf worked. Ah, oh, thank you. I mocked with A12 and Mingo. Thank you both so much. You guys made this, oh, um, made this possible. <laughs> Finally, we have a win. <laughs> ah! That's what I wanted for so long. I finally have a win in this. I can now, I can now, look, whatever happens for the rest of the games, whatever, I have a win. <laughs> GG to Shadow, you are absolutely beautiful. I love I love playing you. You're an amazing content creator. Please go show some support to them. <laughs> I'm crying because I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. Five weeks of just struggle street. And then finally I have a good grasp of my team and after doing so many mocks, oh, it worked out. Whew. Okay. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> we finally won. Let's go. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.